I think it's amazing how lucky we are to be in our profession and have the uh, movies uh, to remember people with. I think the films of Hal Ashby have had an enormous effect on most of the great filmmakers that we admire. The winner is Hal Ashby. 10 or 11 features, seven in the 70s, that are just an astonishing string of masterpieces. I want to thank Hal Ashby for your courage. Hal Ashby was obsessed with film. He'd smoke some pot and he would work all night. It's, it's still a little astonishing to me why he hasn't had his due. I mean, that's all we have as filmmakers are our instincts. I have nothing else. In other words, what I feel about something, it's the only thing I know. The film will tell you what to do. If you think about any of Hal Ashby's films, you're going to find discussion of class, you're going to find discussion of race. He was so sensitive of what's right and what's wrong. He fought for us. But if you fight nose to nose with the head of a studio, you're going to lose. This will most certainly not be a memo of any sort. It will be closer to the ramblings of a very, very angry young punk. A lot of his wit, I think, came from pain the way I think maybe humor does come from facing adversity. Hal created such an inclusive environment. It almost felt like, you know, you were all impulses in the same brain. He wanted people clearly to love one another when society's trying to keep them apart. And I'm sure that you these pieces of Hal's pictures, you, you see his modesty, his uh, honesty, his humor, his uh, irreverence, his impatience with hypocrisy, his love of people. These are qualities that are all reflected both in the subjects that he chose to deal with and in the way that he dealt with.